Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome back to our channel, Clean Energy Enthusiasts. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the global hydrogen market and explore the game-changing potential of green hydrogen. We'll discuss hydrogen's versatility as an energy carrier, compare different production methods, and highlight the crucial role of green hydrogen in decarbonizing hard-to-abate sectors. So, let's dive in. Hydrogen is a true powerhouse when it comes to clean energy. It's incredibly versatile, with applications spanning transportation, industry, power generation, and energy storage. In the transportation sector, hydrogen can power fuel cell electric vehicles, or FCFs, for light duty, heavy duty, and even public transit. Imagine cities with buses and trains running on nothing but water vapor emissions. This could revolutionize urban transportation, reducing air pollution and improving the quality of life for millions of people. But hydrogen's potential doesn't stop there. In industry, it can replace fossil fuels for processes like steel production, chemical synthesis, and oil refining, significantly reducing carbon emissions. The industrial sector is one of the most challenging areas to decarbonize, as many processes require high temperatures and intense energy input. By replacing fossil fuels with green hydrogen, we can take a significant step towards achieving net zero emissions in these hard to abate sectors. Hydrogen can also be used for power generation through gas turbines or fuel cells, providing much needed flexibility and backup capacity for renewable energy systems. As we increasingly rely on intermittent renewable sources like solar and wind, the ability to store and dispatch energy on demand becomes crucial. Hydrogen can be stored in large quantities for extended periods, making it an ideal solution for long-duration energy storage. When renewable energy production exceeds demand, excess electricity can be used to produce green hydrogen, which can later be converted back into electricity when needed. This not only helps balance the grid but also maximizes the utilization of renewable energy resources. Now, let's talk about how hydrogen is produced. Currently, the most common method is called gray hydrogen, which is derived from fossil fuels like natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming or coal gasification. While it's the cheapest option, it comes with a heavy carbon footprint. For every ton of gray hydrogen produced, around 10 tons of carbon dioxide are emitted, contributing significantly to climate change. This is clearly not a sustainable solution in the long run. That's where blue hydrogen comes in it's essentially gray hydrogen but with the addition of carbon capture, utilization, and storage CCUS, technologies to reduce emissions. In this process, the carbon dioxide generated during hydrogen production is captured and either stored underground or utilized in various applications, such as enhanced oil recovery or the production of synthetic fuels. While blue hydrogen is a step in the right direction, it still relies on fossil fuels and has limitations in terms of carbon capture efficiency and storage availability. It's important to note that KISS technologies are still in development, and their long-term effectiveness and scalability remain uncertain. But the real star of the show is green hydrogen. This method uses renewable electricity from sources like solar and wind power to split water into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. Green hydrogen offers the lowest carbon footprint and the highest potential for sustainability. It's a true zero-emission solution, as the only byproducts are water and oxygen. The beauty of green hydrogen lies in its ability to harness the power of renewable energy and store it in a versatile, transportable form. As renewable energy costs continue to plummet, particularly for solar and wind power, the economics of green hydrogen production become increasingly attractive. However, it's important to acknowledge that green hydrogen is currently more expensive than gray and blue hydrogen. This is primarily due to the higher costs of electrolyzers, the devices used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, and the relatively low efficiency of the process compared to fossil fuel-based methods. But costs are falling rapidly as the technology scales up and renewable energy becomes cheaper. Economies of scale, technological advancements, and increasing government support are all contributing to the declining costs of green hydrogen production. In fact, some experts predict that green hydrogen could become cost competitive with gray hydrogen within the next decade, a development that would have profound implications for the global energy system. 
So, why is green hydrogen so crucial? It has the unique ability to decarbonize sectors that are difficult or nearly impossible to electrify, known as hard to abate sectors. Take the steel industry, for example. Steelmaking is one of the most carbon intensive industrial processes, accounting for around 7 to 9% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The conventional method of steel production involves the use of coal as a reducing agent in blast furnaces, releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide in the process. Green hydrogen can replace coal as a reducing agent in the direct reduction of iron DRI, process, drastically cutting carbon emissions. By coupling DRI with electric arc furnaces powered by renewable electricity, the steel industry can significantly reduce its carbon footprint and contribute to global decarbonization efforts. Green hydrogen can also be used to produce low-carbon ammonia and other chemicals, providing a sustainable alternative to fossil fuel-based feedstocks. Ammonia, for instance, is a crucial ingredient in fertilizers and is currently produced primarily through the Haber-Bosch process, which relies on hydrogen derived from natural gas. By using green hydrogen instead, the production of ammonia can become carbon neutral, helping to decarbonize the agricultural sector. Furthermore, ammonia itself can be used as a hydrogen carrier, enabling the storage and transportation of hydrogen over long distances. In the realm of long-haul transportation, green hydrogen can power fuel cell trucks, trains, and ships, offering a cleaner alternative to diesel engines. Fuel cell electric vehicles, FCFs, powered by hydrogen have several advantages over battery electric vehicles, BEVs, for long-distance travel. They can be refueled much faster than BEVs can be recharged, and they offer longer driving ranges, making them suitable for heavy-duty applications. As the world seeks to reduce emissions from the transportation sector, green hydrogen-powered FCFs could play a significant role in decarbonizing freight transport and public transit. As of now, the global hydrogen market is dominated by grey hydrogen, accounting for around 95% of the total production. This is largely due to the low costs of fossil fuels and the established infrastructure for their extraction and processing. However, as the urgency to address climate change grows and governments implement more stringent emissions regulations, the shift towards cleaner forms of hydrogen becomes inevitable. Blue hydrogen is gaining traction as a transitional solution, with several large-scale projects in the works, particularly in Europe and North America. These projects aim to capture and store the carbon dioxide emitted during hydrogen production, reducing the carbon footprint of the process. While blue hydrogen can help bridge the gap between grey and green hydrogen, it is important to recognize its limitations and view it as a temporary measure rather than a long-term solution. Green hydrogen, while still in the early stages of commercialization with a market share of less than 1%, is experiencing rapid growth. Governments and companies worldwide are setting ambitious targets for green hydrogen production and deployment, aiming to scale up the technology and reduce costs to make it competitive with fossil fuel-based hydrogen. For instance, the European Union has set a target of installing 40 gigawatts of electrolyzers by 2030, while countries like Japan, South Korea, and Australia are investing heavily in green hydrogen infrastructure and partnerships. The private sector is also playing a crucial role in driving the growth of the green hydrogen economy. Major energy companies, such as Shell, BP, and Total, are investing in green hydrogen projects and collaborating with technology providers to develop new production and storage solutions. Automotive giants like Toyota, Hyundai, and Daimler are pushing forward with the development of fuel cell electric vehicles, recognizing the potential of hydrogen as a clean transportation fuel. These investments and collaborations are vital in accelerating the commercialization of green hydrogen technologies and building the necessary infrastructure for widespread adoption. In conclusion, green hydrogen is a true powerhouse in the clean energy revolution. Its versatility, coupled with its unique ability to decarbonize hard-to-abate sectors, makes it a crucial piece of the puzzle in achieving a sustainable future. As technology advances and costs continue to fall, we can expect to see green hydrogen play an increasingly important role in the global energy mix. The transition to a green hydrogen economy will not happen overnight, and there will be challenges along the way. It will require significant investments in infrastructure, research and development, and policy support. However, the benefits of green hydrogen are clear, it offers a path towards deep decarbonization, energy security, and economic growth. By embracing green hydrogen, we can create a cleaner, more resilient energy system that supports the well-being of both people and the planet. As individuals, we can support the growth of the green hydrogen economy by advocating for policies that promote its development, investing in companies that are leading the charge, and educating others about its potential. Together, we can work towards a future powered by clean, sustainable energy, with green hydrogen playing a central role. 
Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content on the latest clean energy solutions. Until next time, stay charged up about the future of sustainable energy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.